If I'm going to stop this killer, I should analyze the body I found on the rooftop of the Gotham Herald. Taking that mask off was a big mistake. Now you're just a man. Alfred, I've found the mutilated body Cash was talking about. I'm going to try and establish a cause of death. Blood tests reveal the cause of death was an overdose of painkillers leading to cardiac arrest. Also, the victim's fingerprints have been burned off with acid. A rather unsavory demise. That's not all. It's as though the subject's DNA has been corrupted somehow. There's insufficient information for me to cross-reference the database. I'll have to use the deep tissue scanner to analyze the body for distinguishing features and determine the victim's identity. Right you are, sir. Deformity on the left ear. Looks like a result of minor ear agenesis, a birth defect. A wedding ring in the lower intestine. The inscription reads, Ophelia. The victim had a hip replacement. Scar tissue hasn't fully healed, so it must have been recent. Alfred. The victim's name is Anthony Lund. Hospital records show he suffered with alcoholism, most probably brought on by the breakdown of his marriage. The name on the ring, Ophelia, his ex-wife. He was last seen in Albuquerque, New Mexico. What's unusual is that they didn't go missing in Gotham. They were brought here and killed. Why? We need to track down whoever did this. Might I suggest keeping an ear out for any more of that ghastly opera music? It sounds ominously like a calling card.
Alfred, I found another body. The mutilation pattern looks to be identical to the previous murder victim. Then it appears Gotham does indeed have a serial killer in its midst. And here I was thinking this evening couldn't get any worse. I'm going to scan the body for unique identifiers. Scar tissue on the upper arm. I recognize the pattern. Twenty years ago, this was a badge of honor among inmates at Blackgate Penitentiary. A small group of racketeers known as the Bloodhaven Six. Remnants of a pacemaker fitted through the right ventricle. If I cross-reference the manufacturer with the pacing method, it will help to narrow the search. Clear signs of bone deformation on the victim's knee. Joint line sclerosis points to juvenile arthritis a rare and debilitating condition. Alfred, I've ID'd the victim as Franklin Ocargo. His records are a litany of drug-related offenses, sir. In and out of prison from an early age. He was serving a 20-year sentence at Blackgate before being released early on grounds of ill health due to a heart condition. He moved to Little Rock, Arkansas, which is where he was reported missing. Another person taken from outside the Gotham area. A significant detail, sir. So are these words written beside the bodies. Try and find a connection between the two victims I've found, Alfred. There has to be something linking them together. I'll try my best, sir. Alfred, we can add a third victim to the list. This is becoming rather ghastly, sir. It brings to mind a spate of murders at the beginning of your career. It was Halloween then, if I'm not mistaken. Turned out to be rather a long one, if I recall. I'm going to try and identify the body. An irregularity on the victim's chest. It appears to be a birthmark, quite distinctive. There's a bullet lodged deep in the upper bicep. This type of ammunition is predominantly used with a hunting rifle that hasn't been manufactured in over a decade. The left foot is missing several toes. The site of amputation suggests the removal of non-viable tissue in the treatment of frostbite. Alfred, I've ID'd the victim as Robert Kincaid. He was a microbiologist who worked for Stag Enterprises. Many believe the shooting was connected to Kincaid's knowledge of controversial research, although that remains unverified. He took a teaching post in Atlanta, which is where he was reported missing. That's three victims, all of them abducted in various places around the country. Keep looking for a connection, Alfred. Right you are, sir. The writing by the bodies suggests the killer has a higher purpose. It's as if these weren't good enough for what he has in mind. Do you think there are other victims? Yes, and I don't know what he has planned for them.
I found a fourth victim. Highly regrettable, Master Bruce. All we can do is hope this body yields some clues as to the killer's identity. I've seen that pattern of scar tissue before. It's a bite mark. Analyzing its radius points to a species of Salacomorpha. This particular variety of shark is only found in the waters off the coast of North Gotham. The victim is fitted with an ocular prosthesis. This specific type of medical grade acrylic was used only once during a trial five years ago. Signs of trauma to the upper arm. At some point, titanium screws have been implanted to repair a fractured humerus. Alfred, the victim's name is Lisa Mendez. Uh, she had quite a troubled upbringing, sir. Orphaned age nine, foster homes, drug abuse. She developed a talent for surfing, hence the shark attack. Tragically, it's also how she lost her boyfriend. She was working for a Christian charity in Tucson, Arizona, when she went missing. Have you found anything linking the victims? I can find no personal or professional links between the victims, but they each went missing near state parks or playing fields. Try and find anything connecting those places. Of course, sir. I'll look into it. Alfred, I found a fifth victim. I feared you would, sir. This wound is relatively fresh, inflicted while the victim was still alive. Abrasion to the epidermal layers confirms the somewhat crude removal of a tattoo. The position of this scar indicates the victim underwent surgery to remove one of their kidneys. A plate made of tantalum, used here for a cranial fracture, most probably the result of a boxing accident. The victim's callous knuckles would only be acquired by a professional fighter. Alfred, the victim's name is Ella Montgomery. It appears the kidney was donated to a twin sister who unfortunately died. This seems to have been the catalyst for her boxing pursuits, and hence the cranial injury. She went missing in Huntsville, Alabama. Do the details of the disappearance match with the others? They do indeed, sir. Also, your request to cross-reference the parks and playing fields has proved fruitful. I've come across some leasing documentation that appears to have been falsified. Someone is attempting to cover their tracks. Find out anything you can, Alfred. We couldn't have done anything to prevent these deaths, but we can still save others. I've discovered another body. Six victims, Master Bruce. When will this nightmare end? 
That particular type of bleaching to the pigmentation of the skin denotes a chemical burn, most likely a chlorine-based substance. Tracheal surgery to remove a cancerous growth has resulted in the victim being fitted with a voice box. The victim suffered a rare genetic disorder, causing them to have six fingers on one hand. Alfred, the victim's name is Allison Weirs. Hmm. She was an engineer employed at Ace Chemicals. That would certainly explain some of her ailments. She moved into a retirement home in Bloodhaven several years ago. Their grounds are adjacent to a large park. Cross-reference this with the others. See if it fits. It does indeed, sir. Sending you the information now. The Circus of Strange. Its route recently took it through all the locations where the victims went missing. Get me a list of associated names. The circus is run by a rather suspicious fellow named Laszlo Valentin. Search for any properties owned or leased by the suspect. Records show Mr. Valentin used to lease a beauty salon here in Gotham, but the lease expired shortly before construction began on Wayne International Plaza. Send through the location. It's time to end this. Done here, Valentine. Let them go. <laughs> oh no 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 no! Pig, not ready yet. <laughs> She's all unique and wrong, all messed up, inside out. Pig, make her better. Pig, make all of us better. It's over. But Pig can fix you too. Make you perfect. Like the others. <laughs> You're insane. <laughs> and what are you? I'm here to stop you. Bad. 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 <laughs> Pig is like clay. Pig is like God. Pig is here to fix us all. It's like they're immune to pain. I need to make sure they stay down. Destroy him, my darlings, and remember, Daddy loves you. <laughs> oh. 
Thank God you got here when you did. After what he did to the others. I... Please, please help. It's okay. It's okay. It's over. <laughs> help me. Help. Thanks. She's gonna be fine. We're gonna be, we're gonna be just fine. You're safe now. Stay here with the others. I'll send a squad car to pick you up. Thanks. I don't know what he would have done to us. Please. Please help. It's okay. It's okay. It's over. <laughs> help me. Taking me. Take go back to his circus. I'm taking you where you won't be able to hurt anyone else. I'll make sure of it. Pig doesn't hurt. Pig heals. Pig fixes. My Dolotrons are. Those people are living a fate worse than death. Not death. Pig makes life worth living. 
and the ones you murdered? Too broken. A pig to make that. Too imperfect. <laughs> they make mother angry. Milk, pig, peel. Those things you couldn't change. It's how I identified the bodies. It's how I caught you. It's why you failed. No. Not fail. Oh. <laughs> Picture you sick. Mm, like to see? You've got problems, Valentine. Out you go, Valentine. Don't, don't lock Pig away. Mother won't be pleased. <laughs> Pig, not good enough. Oh, never good enough. So close until you find me. I can do better. <laughs> so much better. <laughs> It could have been so perfect. You said the plan was foolproof, Oswald. <laughs>